Everybody <laughs> thought I was tripping when I said that the Duke Blue Devils can beat the Cavs. Without, oh. without Kevin Love. Oh, come on. Without well, Kevin Love, the Duke still, Blue Devils can beat the Cavs. <laughs> let's Seriously. not go there. Richard Seriously. Jefferson is going to come up from Manhattan <laughs> Beach and fight you. Um. <laughs> I'm telling you, they can beat the Cavs. Um. If, if they don't have Kevin Love, this team has now Duke can beat them right now. That's you how really bad they Okay, are. fine. Let's have this discussion. You that's really think bad. that's true? Well, Duke's top oh. three players are already better than... Duke Three players been right now Duke has been on the Cavs. by other college teams. That's all right. Chemistry issues, you know, it happens. You don't go, you don't, you don't go undefeated in college. I mean, come on. But they, they have three players that will start right now in Cleveland. Right now. Start. I, that, that, that I'm not going to argue. I'm going to argue with you that they could beat an NBA team, but I, I will say that they would all three start in the Cavs. Do you think that the Cavs are the ones then that need yeah, Zion they, absolutely. more than I yeah. mean, Chicago has a future. Cavs need them more than... <laughs> Anything. It's got to go deeper than that, right, Zach? Uh, I mean, have you watched the Cavs? The Cavs need everything. They don't just, <laughs> they don't just need Zion. But, I mean, they are unwatchable. Well, you couldn't pay them $100 to watch that game. That is unwatchable. <laughs> wow. Uh, the Bulls have Markkanen and Carter you can look at and say, that's a good front line we can build around. Maybe Levine becomes a more well-rounded player. The Cavs, like, even Sexton hasn't looked that good. If you look at his assists and his ability to play make, they need something so badly to make us want to go out to Cleveland again any time in, like, the next 10 years. So what is it for the franchise? Because we just saw a bunch of their number one picks. Obviously, Wiggins was traded, and that became Kevin Love. But they had Kyrie Irving went well. Anthony Bennett did not go so well for them. Paul, when you were on a team that was – you were on the team with the biggest turnaround in NBA mm. history, the 2007 right. Celtics to the 2008 Celtics. And that wasn't through a tank job. It was through no. a blockbuster trade. Right. And what else did you guys have that you think really turned the franchise around? Well, we had, at the top, we had good coaching. We had a good management, good owners. And, you know, we didn't tank because I got hurt actually that year. And so we wound up losing a lot of games, broken foot. So, you know, you have to get lucky in a lot of these cases. And obviously when San Antonio won, when they got Tim Duncan, they had the injuries the year before, they got lucky, and, and there you go, a 20-year dynasty. Yeah, if so. you already have David Robinson, <laughs> yeah. tanking for one season yeah. works. And again, it wasn't so, taken because they, they had an injury. They had an injury, like, but tanking, still doesn't prove that it works. I mean, even Philadelphia, who tanked all them years, they're just now getting good. They missed on a lot of those picks. Yeah. So. Well, if that lottery goes different in 2007, the Celtics may do something different. They may, yeah, they may go, they may, trade, the they may trade pick, you. They may yeah. trade me and trap Durant. Right. So, so you said something in the monologue that is interesting, and it was something like um, most teams that draft really high don't end up going to the finals X amount of years later. I, I think most teams that do anything don't end up going to the finals mm -hmm. four years later. Like, getting to the finals is really, really hard. Yeah, but how about just yeah. getting in the playoffs? Well, but I'm, here's what I'm saying. Every path of team building that you choose mm -hmm. is unlikely to get you to the finals because to get to the finals, you need usually a generational player. Right. That's yes. the common ground, yeah. which is why, t like, if you put every path of building a team and said, what is the most likely one to get me to the finals, multi-year Philadelphia-style tanking is still the most likely to get you to the finals, and it's unlikely. It's just the most likely of a bunch of unlikely paths. That's why people do it, and that's right. why teams will still do it.